In today's video, we have a woman that divorces the perfect man and regrets it. My name is Griffin. This is my mind. Stay on the path of progress and let's get into it. We're not, you know, the mothers of our past and there was nothing wrong with that, but we are getting our arms involved in a lot of things and we're busy doing and juggling millions of things. But what we are saying is, you know, you have to handle us and we have to handle our full-time job as well. What a deal, huh? Nice. Work your entire life, build up all of your value, and now your prize, what you get at the end? A headache. What a great trade-off. How many people you've been with? How many people have you been with? None of your business. All right. It doesn't matter. Right, you're a tough interview. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of secrets. Huh? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. If I'm dating you, I'm your, I'm your present and your future, so. Yep, that's a big yikes, my guy. It's a big yikes. His wife is currently being canceled because she created a PS5 time schedule for her husband where he has to do various different things just so he could play his PS5. I just want to say really quick, the wife is not the girl in the video in the beginning. I just feel like that is how she would act. So this is the time schedule right here. So for 30 minutes to play on his PS5, he has to give his wife a foot rub. For 40 minutes, he has to give his wife a back rub. For an hour without playing online so he can't play with his friends, he has to cook dinner for an hour to play on his PS5. Yo, dude, she's treating her man like he is an actual child. And even worse, he's actually putting up with it. This dude is a legit loser. Letting your woman just walk all over you when women are put in a position where they have to lead or they are just leading they will almost always abuse that power that they have you have to understand that women are emotional and this is fine there's nothing wrong with that but when it comes to being a rational logical leader as you should be emotions cannot play heavily into that and also you have to keep in mind these are the rules for him because you just know there are dudes in her past that didn't have to do any of this I think I'm late to the game on this one, but the comments on this video were fucking ruthless. The definition of don't let your girlfriend stop you from finding your wife. <laughs> he definitely upgraded. Understandable. Have a great day. <laughs> this is my favorite. She couldn't even find a bad pic of her. <laughs> I have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? Like, is that still a thing? Or is it just pressured because of how society is? Or is it something that you guys generally want? I'm just curious on your opinion on it. I think most men do actually want to get married, but there are so many things that have divided that bond between men and women. Womanism, modern women, equality, marriage laws, social media, online dating, so much has just torn men and women apart from each other. But leave a comment. Would you get married and why wouldn't you? I'll cut her off. I'm not even, I'm, listen, this is how I, I'm trying to tell you how I DV is like, I literally, this is how I will go. I'm on the phone with her. She says, this is a bro. I'm like, yo, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to get called that. Don't call me bro. Oh, I call everybody, bro. I call my mom, bro. I call my, I'm not your mom. <laughs> I, I don't care who, who everybody is. I'm not them. I was talking to this girl one time and I liked her fine enough, but at one point she called me, dude, dude. Uh -huh. I stopped talking to her, lost all interest. Women that talk like men are an instant turnoff. Dude, bro, man, get them out of here. Study last year, which came out in the news just uh, a couple weeks ago, showing that the percentage of young men ages 18 to 29 63 percent of them are not in a relationship that is they're not married they're not in a steady relationship they're not dating they are single 63 percent nearly two out of three these trends towards singleness not being in relationships not being married is bad for our society it's bad for the individuals and this should alarm people that as we continue down this road these figures only appear as though they're likely going to be getting worse. Data also shows that they're less likely to pursue it at all. And this bodes very poorly for our society. I think we have to acknowledge that our principles in place for dating, for relationships, for sex, for intimacy, these changes that we've instituted in our society are not working well. And our only way is to undo many of the things that we have done and get back on a course that does work to support marriages, relationships, and family life. All of this stuff truly just leads to one thing, and that is depopulation. If men and women can't figure it out, we can't figure out how to get along, be in relationships together, this trend is just going to continue down the hill and it's going to get worse and worse. If we just look at this in the most simple way possible, we see, okay, men and women are not getting together. 
They're not starting families. They're not having babies. What does that mean? It's very, very simple. It means we are not going to have a future generation. Our population will be significantly less because simply there's just not as many babies being born. It's truly a grim future for the West. If you wanted to, do you think you could like pretty quickly like get a new guy? I know that if I didn't give a about the quality of the uh, relationship i could get a boyfriend in five seconds in five seconds yeah. i do and in general want to think i'm delusional i yeah. know that they're wrong and they live in a very binary understanding of love and attraction mm -hmm. and they're not willing to see things like outside of a different perspective so people who are like committed to misunderstanding yeah. me or the plus love experience i have no interest plus in debating love, yeah. the validity of my right to have love did you get uh, a lot of people dming you like with the romantic interest not to sound cocky but that's that's something that continually happens and so i just don't take it seriously because i have standards i have things that i want yep. and things that are important to me attraction is important bro do you guys want to know the brutal reality she's telling the truth she does have options because there are so many men out there that have no standards for themselves they are so desperate that they will truly get with anything that breathes it doesn't matter her behavior her personality how she looks just out of sheer desperation those guys will be lining up that's the west bro no if, if 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 people are aware of this but the most important decision you will ever make in your life after choosing to believe in god is the mate you choose to spend the rest of your life with hmm. your mate will either inspire you to grow into your greatness or they'll confine you to complacency hmm. they'll either be your other half or they'll make you half of yourself the Honorable Minister Louis Falcon said like a good relationship will make you more youthful and bring out the best in you and a bad one will age you prematurely and bring out the worst. So choose wise. I've definitely noticed this with different women that I've been with because depending on her personality, different parts of your personality will be amplified or decreased. And the most ideal situation that you can find yourself in is where your woman amplifies all of the best qualities about you. Pretty obvious, right? But getting with a woman that amplifies all of your negative qualities, bro, that is a black hole. It leads you into a toxic wasteland. A man take you for a first date. I would say a nice What's dinner. A nice dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Or that. Or, or that. that. That's okay for a first date. Take, take me out to dinner first. How long should a man last? Well, when I'm ready for them to know, I hit them with a <laughs> the secret weapon and I'll, I'll let them know. How long do you last? I mean, you gotta find out. Maybe she'll find I mean, out. Give her your number. Give her your I mean, men need to toughen up, and I think if yeah. men were forced to be homeless, they would learn how to be better. You know what? I think there needs to be an update on the pod laws, man, because it seems like anybody with a mouth and a microphone can make a podcast, man. And that just ain't, it's not healthy for society, you know? Like, yeah, bro. I, I know agree. they say I everybody agree. is entitled to their opinion, but uh, sometimes I just strongly disagree. Dude, <laughs> men should be forced to be homeless. Do y'all realize how none of this ever gets any attention? Imagine going through your entire life never being checked, never being told no, never being told that's a stupid idea. That's a lot of modern women today, bro. They go through life just drifting from fantasy to fantasy. Men fully understand the dating market that they are in and when they see a good girl, a wifey material girl, let me tell you, he will let nothing get in the way of saying she's mine. But not in a crazy, obsessive, love bombing way, like, oh my god, I'm so sad I want to see you every single day. Ah, you're mine. Like, calculated. He will act so certainly. He will move at a certain speed. He will take it slow. He is not going to let anything get in the way of this connection up because he wants it. He knows that it's good and he wants it. So, honestly, as a woman, if you are dating, all you have to do is sit back and relax. He will make the moves. He will lead. He will plan the dates. He will follow up. All you have to do is... When you hang out and you enjoy your time together, send him a little text and say, I enjoyed that so much. Thank you. That's literally all you have to do. He will do the rest. She is correct about men taking the lead with the women that they like, but women should not just sit around and wait for it to happen. Women need to put themselves in situations where they're more likely to meet that, you know, high value guy. A lot of women have this just sit back and wait. Oh, he'll just come to me, no problem. Kind of mentality. Then they do nothing, sit at home, swipe on Tinder endlessly, smack 30, realize they're alone. You can't figure out why that is. If you want something, you have to do what's necessary to get it. Otherwise, you're just playing the lottery. The one thing you wish everyone around you knew about getting divorced everyone always prepares you that whenever you're going through a divorce losing your husband or wife you go through a grieving process grieving for the loss of your marriage um, the loss of your hopes and dreams together um, but one thing that they really don't prepare you for is the loss of a friend the loss of your best friend 
the person that you always wanted to tell, you know, tell your day and to tell, you know, your small wins and your small victories. And, um, I don't, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for feeling that way. Even when you're not together and haven't been together, um, just having that desire to have them as a friend again. Throwing all that out the window, all of those years and years and years of compatibility, reliability, friendship, the bond built, throw it out the window. I don't know the backstory, don't know this chick, but just throwing it all away because TikTok said so, huh? That's the typical game plan. That's what usually happens. The social media brainwashing gets in the brain and they nuke their life. Your biggest ache in a guy? Um, you know, like when they're in a mosh, like at block party, and like they're just jumping up and down and you just see them jumping up and down. <laughs> why is that an ick? Because it's like, why are you, I don't know, why are you like... Yeah, big yikes. 